couple of announcements that I need to make to let you know what's going on. Uh, first things first is I finally got my trademark, the Finance Geek. It's official, official, very excited. Super happy about this. Uh, just wanted to show that to you guys and kind of just show my progress that as you're growing, as you're paying off debt, same with me. I'm growing, I'm doing things, I'm continuing to learn more stuff that I can apply to Velocity Banking, to Infinite Banking, building my kingdom. That's another thing that I did to secure my kingdom is in this world, you do things like trademark, you establish a company, you establish a mission, a vision for your company, uh, you establish a presence, a brand, your own personal brand, right? And, uh, and then you get the audience and people start following you, listening to you and applying what you do, literally just copying everything that you do and you're able to you know, establish multiple kingdoms, you know, and, and everyone is working together, coordination, it just all worked out just fine. And what's super cool about this is my friend Mari from the Ribeiro Law Firm in Brickell, Miami. She, we, st I started working with her earlier this year, 2019, like around January, February, but I didn't actually pay for the service till around like March is when it actually started. And now we're in December, like the first week of December, and the trademark was official. Now in her books, that was the fastest trademark that she's ever done in her entire career. So I was like, that's some God stuff right there. Okay, that's, that's some God stuff. Like within, it was, I wanna say less than eight months because we scheduled a time to meet in November, but I wasn't available. So I scheduled a new time like two weeks later. So if she originally scheduled a time with me in November, that means the trademark was already set a couple days prior to, right? Because she would need to have this to present to me, to give to me. Because the name of the name of the meeting was claim your brand meeting. I was like, Oh, what's going on? Because I wasn't expecting to have the trademark till the end of 2019 or maybe even the beginning of 2020. So the fact that that went so fast, I was just blown away, blown away. So um, I'll have a link to her website and her information. If you're a business owner that is looking for a trademark, this one is on point and just fast and and She'll protect you the whole way through and she'll guide you and coach you along the way, tell you exactly what you need to do. There's not a whole lot of steps that you need to do. Um, so it was pretty like off, uh, hands, hands off the whole time. It was just her doing all the work, you know, her taking care of everything. So that's handled. Now let's go into, oh, before I get into the lesson, Another thing is we are like maybe a hundred subscribers off from 10,000. So that'll be a milestone. And Josh and I just checked this morning. We just hit a million views on YouTube. Total, total freaking rich people. All right. So hitting, hitting numbers that are like, whoa, how'd you do that? And I, 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 uh, I did a little pre-celebration uh, because I knew I was going to hit this number this month. Uh, I splurged just a little bit. I, uh, we were, my girlfriend and I, we were looking uh, for a pair of heels for her graduation. And we couldn't find anything. We found one pair, but we didn't find like the pair, you know, because they, they got to find that pair, right? That just for that. Uh, I was passing by an Invicta store at the Boca Mall and I was like, hey, I want to go in there and check it out. I'm not going to buy anything. I'm just going to check it out. I walked out with two watches. They had a sale. Buy one, get one free. I, I couldn't avoid it. So I treated myself a little bit. All right. It's another freaking rich people move right there. But uh, 
other than that, that's all the celebration I have so far. So I'm really, really hype. I'm also like, you know, extremely nervous. Like so much is going on, so much is happening that, you know, I'm gonna do some lessons and some teachings on how to, how to operate in your like peak moments. Like when you're just going so high right and you're just exploding like how do you handle yourself mentally with all this good stuff happening you're like i don't know if you're like me but when you don't come from a lot and then you're dropped into immense amount of blessings that you can't even handle you get this feeling like okay where's the storm right because the rain falls on the just and the unjust, right? So it's like if your house is built on a rock and it has solid foundation, then storms just pass. You don't really feel them. But when you're just starting out, right? And and you know, you're laying the cement and you're just moving so fast, like just it's like the house was built for you and you're just betting that it was built on a rock. So that's what happened to me. It's like in a, in a short period of time, I'm betting that my house, my foundation, my kingdom has been built on a rock because none of it is mine. None of it was built by me. It was all done by the finished works of Jesus Christ and his blessings that he just put on me. So the whole time I've just been betting that he's been putting me in the right area, the right foundation, the right cement the right four walls, the right door, the right opportunities, the right everything. That's what I've been betting on. And so I can't help but think, because I'm human, is like, oh man, when's that, which storm is gonna get me, right? Which, which comment, which video is gonna, you know, take me down or something like that. So I'm gonna create some content on, you know, how to handle yourself because nobody talks about that. Everybody talks about the growth, the explosion, the lifestyle, but very, very, very few people give their honest track record of how they felt when they hit a million subscribers or how they felt when they broke six figures. Like, did they get sick? Like, did they, like, just, were they bedridden? Like, they were just, like, scared to their bones. Like, just, because these are feelings that will occur because you've never experienced them. And you're thinking to yourself that you should be happy, but sometimes you're like scared, super scared. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna create some content on that because I think that's very valuable, especially for my young viewers, young entrepreneurs that are just starting out. You get a little success, you're a little excited, but there's some that also get a little worried and scared. They're like, I don't deserve this or da da da, like all those self-limiting beliefs that you start telling yourself. And I'm gonna talk about how to overcome that.